Good day everyone, this is Ernie Kish at the Kish Cash Fund and we're doing a recap of our NVIDIA trade. We had a, a trade set up for NVIDIA uh, that we put together last evening and a trade set up on Axel. Those who... Uh, I saw Axel did fairly well today, uh, but then it uh, lost all that it that it had made. So that was kind of like a roller coaster ride. And looking at the Nvidia chart here too, uh, kind of much the same. Not a whole heck of a lot of range. Um, we thought Nvidia might do a little bit better. We did go long on it. I'll show you where we got in. Um, this is our pivot points from yesterday. So we had all this stuff. You can take a look at the Nvidia setup trade. Uh, presentation uh, and now we're going to show you uh, what exactly happened. Uh, Nvidia closed yesterday at 1582 somewhere right in there and that was yesterday's close. Okay let's label that a little bit. Yesterday's close 1582 okay so plotting our pivot points um, we had said well you know as as one passes through this and that and whatnot and all that good gobbledygook uh, these give you a good idea of where to get in okay well uh, we had a gap down um, play this morning it looks like things came down um, a little bit um, from the open from uh, or from the close yesterday. So we gap down just a little bit and uh, things go south on us and I see this thing um, bouncing right around. It never goes down to 1575. It never goes down to here but it, it's bouncing right around this 1586 which is of course this line right here once it comes down in the morning it's starting to settle down kinda like here so alright so what did we do we jumped in uh, at the uh, 1586 because that was a good strong pivot point the low so far of the day was right here and that was 1582 so uh, we're gonna see what happens alright um, the overseas markets uh, were not that bad. Um, there was some uh, gap down going ups and, and a whole bunch of that squiggles this and squiggles that. Uh, so looking at this as a possible contrary and move day also with the gap down. Um, when things do gap down uh, and they settle down here at the bottom, uh, that's, when, that's when we buy them and then uh, you sell them as they go up. As this thing went up on the next five minute candle I said well it might it might be a good day because we reached a high of um, like 1595-1594 something like that so that's uh, that's okay we were, we were looking to possibly uh, sell at 1603 because that was the the next move up but it, it didn't quite get there and of course if things were strong at 1603 um, we, we would ha we would hang on and, and and watch and see watch to see if, if things went up a little bit higher but at that point what happened was uh, it um, came down a bit uh, retraced re I had a re retracement, retractment, and this was forming right here. And this was kind of like being a straight bottom here, so this was my my signal for a. Uh, and I, I was scratching my head on this. This is a a, a descending triangle. Um, now the spider was still continuing to go up, and this was forming. So I said, uh, this is a, not a good sign, not a good sign at all. So I took myself out and sold my position, sold my entire position at uh, $15.89. And I went, woohoo, I did not lose any money. 
I made uh, a little, a very little bit of money, but I was looking at these signs, and you say, "Hey, man, if you if you waited just a little bit, this is what happened." And I'll tell you, at this point, there was a lot of market signals, uh, and my sixth sense was giving me um, a signal that it might, you know, why don't you live to trade another day? Um, get out of this thing. If it goes up, God bless it. If it comes down, uh, you're going to wish you had gotten out here, you know, that type of thing. So we did see this thing go up. We saw our descending triangle forming, and we said, that's, uh, that's, a, that's not a good sign. You know, that's like taking your bow out on the lake and here comes the hurricane you know one of those types of things so uh, we believe we made the right decision on that deal and to show you the strength of uh, our stock and I guess the strength of the market I mean things did go up today a lot like this this one didn't go up as high as that we thought it might uh, so there's uh, we're still showing some weakness in Nvidia uh, but a lot of stocks did did you know find there a little bit of a bottom or they or they went up and then they uh, they kind of like went sideways and then I guess maybe after the Ben Bernanke uh, meeting or whatever that was at 215 is announcement of what's going on uh, things went south and they went further south than uh, than we bought you know if this is the 86 line right in through here where we bought this thing. Here's the 89 line where we sold it. Um, and then we ended up here. I would say that, yeah, definitely we uh, we didn't get trapped into, into losing anything on that deal anyway. So, um, again, I was looking at this sign. That's the reason why the decision was made to get out. Um, we're happy enough with that because we still have money in our trade account to whack at this thing uh, on Friday. We're going to take the trade day off tomorrow. Uh, yeah, the markets are open tomorrow, but we, we won't be there. Uh, we might go, you know, be taking a look, see back seat, sit on our hands, um, you know, and get some entertainment out of it. We'll be actively taking those figures from Thursday and plugging them into uh, our pivot points and our Fibonacci's and whatnot for a, uh, a Friday trade. Not that we will trade on Friday, but if we do see an opportunity, we'll give it a shot. Okay. Well, listen, thanks for being, uh, thanks for being my friend out there. You're a great group of people. And keep green on your screen, and I'll be coming up with, uh, with something in the future for you. Thanks. Bye-bye.